Ledford. We're from UAV Experts. We're doing a little testing on the M210 this morning. It's back here behind us. We've got an X5S camera as well as a nice 640 FLIR. We've got the new TB55s on it. We haven't done any extended runtime test, and that's what we want to do this morning. So, unfortunately, uh, Hurricane Irma coming out of Florida is uh, pounding on the keys right now. Now, we're in Atlanta today at my home base, which is on an airport uh, grass strip, and it's blowing about 20, gusting to 30. So, we're going to pop it up in a hover, give you some good real time test. We're going to run it until we get down to 30%. We'll slowly keep it close to the ground. We're going to run it until we're just done and see what kind of run time we get out of TB55. So I'm going to start my timer. We'll uh, pop up here and and obviously we're going to do it off of the uh, the DJI, the pilot app as well. So our app's running, our timer's good. Gregory, let's pop it up in the air. Good right there. So the timer's running on the first set. We're at about 30 seconds. These are TB50s. As soon as this flight's over, we'll run TB55s. We'll do a little bit of comparison. About three minutes or so in, we're flying with the new Sendence remote controller. See if I get a little bit closer. As you can see, we're running the FLIR infrared. And if I touch the little screen at the bottom, we'll go back to our X5S camera. It's a fantastic controller. The software, the pilot app is still being worked on. It'll get better and better over time. But so far, we really love it. The send dense is crisp. It's got good response time. And uh, if I check our, our clock here, we're... Uh, we're almost at four minutes right now, so we'll just keep running, keep watching. A big gust right now, a wind meter showing 35. right now and we're at 72% uh, on our power. The wind continues to blow at about 20, 25 miles an hour. We had that gust a while ago and uh, we'll just keep running it. There's 10 minutes. We're at our 10 minute mark. Flip this around so I can see. 10.07 and uh, our batteries right now are reading one's at 49% and one's at 50. Not sure if you can see that. Still gusting, but a fairly steady machine. forced itself into landing right at 10%. We're at 17 minutes and 19 seconds. I gave it a little power and tried to hold it off, but it's, it's gonna land, as you know, that's where the settings are set at. It just was an accurate 10% though, so 17 minutes and 19 seconds on TB50s. Now let's give it a try on TB55s and see what we get. All right, Cliff Whitney back here. Again with UAV experts, and today we're doing a little battery testing. We've got our Matrice 210 behind us, two cameras, and X5S and a FLIR 640. We'll do some more testing a little bit later with the Z30. We're checking the flight times between the TB50s and the TB55s. The TB55s are new, they're the long runtime batteries. We're flying with the Crystal Sky Display and the new Sendence controller. So I'm gonna pop it up, I'm gonna start my uh, my timer, just so we're running there. We'll pop it up in a hover. The new batteries are definitely a little bit heavier. 
which should balance the two forward cameras a little bit better. Uh, it's blowing 20 here, good and steady. We got the hurricane coming out of Florida and we're in Atlanta, but we're gonna let her hover there. We're at 24 seconds and we'll keep checking back in with you. It's a gust right there. We just got it over 40. Still blowing a steady 35. You can see the trees in the background. Thing handles really, really well. Just past five minutes and 30 seconds, and um, our batteries are holding really solid, the TB55s. We're uh, at about 80% right now, which is looking real good. Again, we're running the X5S camera, as well as the FLIR camera, the 640, so you can see both of them there. And DJI, the, their app's still predicting 23 minutes in addition, so we'll see how we hold up. We're at the nine minute mark right now. A little bit after, 9.13, and uh, we're down at 70% on the pack. So still predicting over 18 more minutes, and we're at 9.21. Another big gust right now at over 35. We're at 10 minutes and 40 seconds. gust right now, we're eating 35 to 38 on the meter. We're at 14 minutes and 22 seconds, 14.22, and we're at right at 49% on our batteries at uh, 14 minutes and 30 seconds. And uh, the Crystal Sky is still displaying another 13 to go. So we'll watch and see how we do. We're at 17.08 right now, 17 minutes and eight seconds on the TB55s. And um, as far as the batteries go, we're holding on really, really strong. We just hit 40%. So 40% at 17.22. Remember, that's about where the TB50s just could not hang on anymore. Our app is still predicting we got another 10 minutes to go. So we'll take a watch and see. We're about 15 seconds away from 20 minutes, and we just flipped over to 30% on our batteries. So, doubt you can see that, but uh, we're right at 30% on our batteries, and we just hit 20 minute mark. According to the app, we got another seven minutes to go, so we'll just watch and see. Twenty seconds. 22 minutes and 20 seconds. I just got the 20% low battery mark. We're gonna keep flying. We'll get a little closer to the ground just to be sure. low voltage came on at 14% that time and I pushed it and pushed it and held it and held it 
we finally uh, was forced to land at 24 minutes and three seconds. 24 minutes and three seconds. It's been a few seconds. The batteries have recovered to an even 14%. This, by the way, was the the first full run on these batteries. We flew the batteries for three minutes initially, and then recharged to 100% just to kind of get the you know the battery juices warming and stuff. And that was yesterday. So this morning. It's about 65 degrees out right now, and again, you've seen the weather looking at the background, so 24 minutes and 3 seconds. Pretty good on a set of TB55s on a Matrice 210 hauling an X5S and an XT640 camera. Pretty much hovered in place and battling the wind, so hope you enjoyed that. It's a good uh, kind of real-world experience.